All right, I'm here with Green Run Head football coach Brandon Williams after his team's try scrimmage with the Oscar Smith Tigers and Dinwiddie Generals here uh, on your home turf in Virginia Beach. Coach, tell me about uh, what you gained from it. I know the film will reveal a lot more, the, the good things, the warts, but what's your initial takeaways from what you saw tonight? Um, I like the way we competed. I like the way we came out and, 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 and didn't you know, back down from anyone. Um, these are, of course, like I said, a scrimmage one. Everybody has stuff, still got things to work on before we uh, kick off on, on week one. But I'm just, you know, like I say I'm very, you know, happy with the competition level that we brought today on that field. Not to diminish what you see in the Beach District or knock anybody, but you have won 33 straight in the city. Uh, is it also good for your kids to get away from some beach teams and play some teams that are also state level quality? Oscar Smith's won a couple titles in Class Six. Dimity's won a couple titles in Class Four. You guys have been knocking on the door in Class Five. No question. Now um, that's why we look. I mean, that's what we look to this scrimmage for. You know, get some gets outside. You know, that beach. Um, work you know from perennial powerhouses as we like to call them in this here state that you know they they've been to where we end up trying to get to and you know the only thing we can do is get better off with the competition we get today you mentioned at the uh, beach football coaches lunch the other day you lost about four thousand plus yards of receiving between keelan Brody adams and not virginia tech tation i know steve was at norfolk state but you still got some good receivers yeah. only about some other guys you lost also they graduated in the last couple of years um even before those you had to on hollowways in the world but jane anderson for you showed that wiggle the virginia tech commit and even using Knowledge Harrell, who's known for his defensive prowess on the offensive side of the ball, will we see that a lot more this year, you think, potentially? Or? Yes, no question. Knowledge will definitely be a two-way player on both sides of the ball. Um, um, uh, another receiver, young guy that's going to get some touches, uh, Kylie Morris, he had a pretty good night tonight also. Um, with with Jaden, um, he, you know, he's he's so dynamic, so we can do so many, so many things with him. So if we get some help around him with three or four guys that can, you know, take the load off of him a little bit, we'll be back to that dynamic uh, offense that we had in the past. It's going to be hard for any team at any level in the state trying to match you guys big play for big play through the air with fireworks. So the strategy, I think, for a lot of teams is to try to ground, grind it out against you guys, be physical, run it. But that being said, you have some guys to that linebacker spot, second level of your defense. Uh, Manny Taylor, who's headed to Pittsburgh, we know, as, as a linebacker for you. Even a new kid, Tristan Williams, tonight, sort of showing some flashes at number 22 for you. Right. Tristan is definitely a, that, 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 that spark, that, that fire spark that, you know, that we have in that, in that interior of our defense that, you know, he's coming down here. And, you know, he likes contact. So. We need that type on our defense. And like I said, um, a couple of weeks back, I, you know, people are used to us, you know, scoring lots of points this year. I mean, in the years past, but I'm looking forward to our defense, you know, being the, the go-to people, the go-to uh, unit on our team this year. As you as you and the staff break it down film-wise, a couple more for you. Is the, the trench is going to be the area you all focus in on it because you got big Tommy Water on the offensive line. You got on D-line tonight. Larry Trey Giddens made a lot of plays for you. And I know he's been doing that. For years now, is that the area that will kind of dictate how far you can go in the overall success? No question. Um, everyone, you know, it's, it's an old cliche, but it's true. It's true when you say it. Um, you know, you only can go as far as you, know, you, you win every game up front, and you know the game is you know the game is won up front. You got to begin with you know focus our focus point, and that's what we're focusing on up front to be able to move people around. Um, like I said, we got some good competition with these two D lines this, this tonight. Um, see where we at as an offensive front and a defensive front. We got some work to do, but I, you know I like where we at, so we can know we can improve on. New back as well, Charles Jackson. I think it is. He he showed some uh, potential as well. I know he was a big time player last year as just a freshman. Right. Um, Charles is definitely a great uh, addition to our offense side of the ball. Um, he's he's you know, he got, does great things when he got the ball out in space. So we're looking for a big fans for him this year too. Lastly, as you get ready for your last one, your benefit game with Norcom, and then in game one coming up against Tallwood, I think it is right. What are you wanting to see as you go on this journey to continue this domination domination you've had in the Beach District and hopefully be back in that regional and state championship mix? Well, of course, you know, the, the, the goal is to get better each and every week. Um, we got a, a strong and, and, and feisty North team that's coming in here next week to, you know, prepare us for that week one matchup. Um, we're looking forward to that matchup next week with the wide receiver, Alden. Um, he's a you know, good, good ball player, so you know, we can get another measurable uh, matchup next week to see where we're at. But um, as far as, you know, this is, you know, looking towards the future and, and the streak, you know, we're just going to take one game at a time right here and look forward to, you know, getting back to where we need to be and that's at the end of the season, you know, in the, in the, in the state tournament. Should be a lot of fun Friday nights here on Dahlia Drive at Cadillac Harris Stadium. Thank you so much. All the best. Okay, thank you.